Oh, it seemed to just throw it. Alright, Tech Rabbit here again. Ah, uh, it's gonna be another unboxing video. Uh, being very hot, uh, quite a lot of sunshine today. So I have plus 30 Celsius currently where I am sitting. <laughs> I don't make sense then, it's because it's a bit too hot. Anyway, um, thought we'd look into um, the next phase of the um, channel PC build, and um, that's the graphics card. And I'd be waiting a long time before I made a decision on the graphics card, because as you know, I'd, 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 yeah, Nvidia is pretty much the only solution, I suppose, for the stuff that I do. I want to be able to run the CUDA course in AI mode easily with TensorFlow from Google. Um, and the problem is that then we've had this like GTX, it's just the old generation versus RTX um, debate. But I must say I've given up on RTX. I mean, the, the, the good RTX cards are on the high end and they're way too expensive. You know, the GDR6 which they have on this is just also causing the price to be hiked. So now they've been adding on more and more uh, substandard RTX graphics cards to try and bring down the, the um, price level to a level where people will start buying them. But then the problem is that every time they cut it down then it's all, you know, you lose performance and, and, and specifically graphics memory and I really hate that. Um, because I, I would like to be able to run good graphics rendering and processing plus um, yeah, uh, yeah, computational um, logic that uses CUDA cores. Also I had a little bit think about the maturity of software uh, basically the it seems that for a lot of the new features in RTX which is the ray tracing part and stuff the software is still in its infancy and it's going to take probably a couple of years for that to catch up you know, it's very easy to make new generations of hardware, but it's much more difficult to um, you know, get the software to catch up. So anyway, I'm just sitting around, but then um, on my local market, or the channels that I had available, um, this popped up at a good price. I mean, it's not cheap, but it uh, wasn't um, like impossibly expensive. So, um, yeah, so this is a, uh, a GeForce GTX uh, 1070. The 1080s are still priced out of my range. All right. All right. And then the availability is, is kind of measurable also. But this has, um, I wonder if it says, it says on the cover here. Yeah, it does. No. See, 8 gigs of memory, no bloody compromises, no. No stupid three gigabytes or six gigabytes, and you're still paying out of the nose. Stupid stuff. Yeah, eight. Thank you very much. Plus, the thing is, uh, I, I mean, I think that the for what I'm going to be using the GTX is uh, very capable, and plus the amount of driver maturity and software maturity related to running stuff against GTX cores, uh, you can't really beat it. But anyway, let's just have a look at what it looks like inside. Wait, I need to of course, switch my camera. I haven't done this for a while. Yes. Uh, is it supposed to be like this way around? The best camera doing. The lighting I have here is I have too much lighting as you might know. Should have actually turned off the studio light. Anyway, let's see if we can. If we can get it out of the box. Oh, I ripped it anyway. Damn it! Come on, that was unfair. Look at that, I broke the box. Oh, fun. Throw the box away, anyways. The <laughs> post it doesn't. Ah! I must say, they haven't made it that easy to get out there. That's
I mean, if you want compar technical comparison and reviews, there's lots of cha lots of channels that have done that part much better than I could possibly do so. But I, I must say that when I've been evaluating uh, RTX versus GTX, then I've just been sitting around until the good GTX model is coming. I, I'm not that impressed with the RTX, right, as it now stands. Quality, price. Nice packaging. Separate video about installings. Just carefully take it out. Just to show it. So that's the back plane. Oops. Here's the fans. And ASUS. pretty much all the reason I said yeah um, two display port two HDMI and then the um, DVI for legacy connectivities it is actually well equipped with display ports and then we'll see ah let me come with some speed set up uh, GPU tweak. Aha, this is the if you want to open clock. Yeah. Yeah. Use that. So, that was the decision with the graphics card because I was waiting waiting on that and just really not being able to make up my mind. But then they um as I said my main trigger was that they uh, came out with a special price. So you could actually only buy Two of these per customer. So it wasn't cheap, but it basically what they've been, and uh, it was a reasonable price. So, anyway, I'm going to wait on the RTX, and I'm going to wait for RTX Generation 2, probably give it another two or three years, because this, this one will. As I said, my main use case right now is the um, uh, TensorFlow AI from, from Google. And then secondary use, of course, is gaming. But, I mean, there really isn't a game out there that, that can, can max this out, practically speaking. Not on the level. And then um, also, um, can probably have uh, some of my... Um, Video <coughs> rendering stuff can probably um, use this also. So DaVinci Resolve that I'm using probably it can be um, accelerated using this card also. So anyway, okay. Uh, if you like this video, um, consider subscribing. Press the button if you want to get notifications for new videos. There will be a video where this card gets installed. So you know, be sure to follow that up. And, um, you know, my main focus on this video was to sort of, yeah, put to rest the argument RTX versus GTX. And I must say I've come to the conclusion that RTX is poor value. Of course, one is going to have to buy RTX. They're going to they're gonna empty the market of GTX models, basically, over time. So uh, it, it will take over the whole market. But I must say this cutting down the models and uh, to even splitting them up into even like more minor um, graphics cards, taking away more memory, reducing the speed. It, it really sucks. I mean, come on, give a good value graphics card with a good amount of memory and, and not so sort of like backtracking under four gigs. I think that's just absolutely miserable. 
the, the three gigs on a, on a completely new graphics card. Give me a break. Ugh. Anyway, enough ranting for now. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.